Hi and welcome to our lesson on working with money, where we will be looking at adding pounds and pence. Here we have some coins. We will add them together to see how much money there is in total. It's easiest to start with the coins with the largest values. We have a one pound coin, which is the same as 100 pence. 50p, 20p, 2p and 1p. Adding from right to left, we have 2 plus 1, which equals 3, 5 plus 2, which equals 7, and 1. So we have 173p. We have one pound and 73p. We write it like so, separating the pounds and the pence with a decimal point. Here's another example. We have two pounds, which is the same as 200 pence. We have 10p, 10p and 5p. Adding from right to left, we can see that we have five. One plus one equals two and then two. So we have a total of 225p. We have two pounds and 25 pence, which we write as two pounds 25. Here we are asked to work out the total. We'll start by dividing the coins into pounds and pence. So we'll move the one pound coin over to the pounds and we'll move the 20p coin over to the pence. First we'll count the pounds. We have two plus one, which equals three pounds. Now we'll count the pence. We have 50 plus 20, which equals 70, plus 20 equals 90, so 90p. So we have three pounds and 90 pence, which we write as three pounds 90. Here's another example. Again, we'll start by separating the coins into pounds and pence. So we'll move this one pound coin over to the pounds and we'll move this 10p and 50p over to the pence. First we'll count the pounds. One plus one equals two pounds. Now we'll count the pence. 50 plus 20 equals 70p, plus 10 equals 80p. So we have two pounds and 80 pence, which we write as two pounds 80. Here are some questions for you to try. Work out the total amounts of money shown. Pause the video and have a go. Question one. First we'll separate the pounds and pence. Starting with the pounds, we have one pound. Looking at the pence, we have 20 plus 10, which equals 30p. So we have one pound 30. Question two. First, we'll move the 50p over to the pence. Looking at the pounds, we have one pound. Looking at the pence, we have 50 plus two, which equals 52 plus one equals 53p. So we have one pound 53. Question three. First, we'll move the 50p over to the pence. Looking at the pounds, we have two plus one, which equals three pounds. Looking at the pence, we have 50 plus five, which is 55 plus five, which is 60, plus one, which equals 61p. So altogether, we have three pounds 61. 
Question 4. First we'll move the 20p over to the pence. Looking at the pounds, we have 2 plus 2, which equals 4, plus 1, which equals £5. Pounds. Looking at the pence, we have 20 plus 20, which equals 40, plus 10, which equals 50p. So altogether, we have £5.50. Pounds Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.